Hey guys, today I'm going to show you two different ways to scale a rubbing. The first way we're going to scan in our rubbing on just a regular scanner. I'm going to rotate it the correct way it should be on my screen. And as you can see, I've put some inch marks and an inch and a half mark towards the bottom right there. I just drew it on my rubbing before I scanned it in. And now you want to make sure that your input size is the same as your output size. So these are the measurements you're going to put into MonuCAD using IT. So I have 11 by 8. scan the image in. And use IT to bring it up in MonuCAD. So I'm going to make a box that is 8 tall and 11 wide. from the top left to the bottom right. Find my image. It is 8 by 11. So now I'm going to trace my inch mark and inch and a half mark. You can see where I wrote them on the rubbing. I want to change the color of my line and the thickness of my line so you can see it better. simple line trace and even if these were at an angle you would trace them at that angle and then you could rotate it to make it as straight as possible on the screen and still measure it so I measured the distance on my first line 15 sixteenths right of an inch so here I'm going to double check my inch and a half mark and an inch and seven sixteenths is right at it. Now I'm going to trace my image using A3 arcs and lines and connect them using the trim command and the fillet or fillet command. Here we're going to trace our rosette. And first you're just going to take a circle and move it to the outer corners of the rosette the best that I can tell. This was drawn many years ago so these petals are not uniform but we're going to draw them uniform. I'm going to get 
get my center of my rosette. And now I'm going to draw just one side of the rosette and just show you how you have to test your design to see how it's going to show up. side and I'm going to window image or WI this side and I'm going to snap center of my circle it doesn't matter which center you get if it's the inner circle or the outer circle so you can see I'm snapping it and it's rotating to near point A3, the little center line. Now, we're going to use RC or radial copy, and then after we do that and choose the number of copies we wanna make, because there's four more petals we need, and hit OK, and we're gonna snap center or SN that circle. You can see they're kinda of wide apart, so we're really gonna go back and adjust some things so they'll be a little bit closer together. I've erased my other petals and I'm going to erase one side of my petal and just make things a little bit wider so that it will look better when all the petals are on the screen together. You're still staying close to the rubbing you have but they will all be uniform they will all be the same exact petal all the way around. Just smoothing some edges out using SS or window stretch. Now the same thing, window image, snap center of our circle, and rotate it until we get it exactly where we want it on the other side. And then we're going to move point on that top arc and near point to the other side. going to RC radial copy four petals and snap center SN on that circle now they're a little closer together looks better and more uniform I'm going to finish by adding the felines that go around the monument going to show you how to scale a rubbing using just the inch marks. So let's say on your scanner you can't figure out how to make the image come out the size you want it to. You can always just IT, go in, make it whatever size on your screen, just throw it up there. Trace your inch marks and your inch and a half mark. Measure them to see what they come out to. So that one's coming out at 7 eighths and that one's 1 and 3 eighths. So now we're going to erase our image and window scale those lines. Grab your line, scale it up. And your first number is going to be the size you want it to be, slash your second number is the size that it is right now. And hit enter hit enter again because it's going to want your Y scale and you're not changing that you're only changing the cross. Now go back and measure distance MD. You can see those come up to an inch and a half and an inch so that's how you scale it using only your inch marks. So now I'm going to erase my image and go in here and put my V lines around my carving. I'm using A3SA and LISA. And our V line size that we normally use is 0.1. 
when it's a rubbing, you use the V-line size that is on the rubbing. I'm also using trim and fillet. And here, I'm gonna do the same thing, a radial copy again, because you want all your tips of your petals to be the same. So I'm gonna do A3, make a nice rounded tip. Window image, snap center, and snap center of that top petal arc. Now, you can go in and erase all of these. And also, you can do this at first when you do your petals. RC, four petals, okay, snap center. Now you have all of the same arcs on your petal ends. And there you have it. I'm gonna change the color so it's all the same and your image is ready for sandblast. Erase your lines for your inch marks and you can add it to your die. We will be taking the month of July off for YouTube videos and we will see you guys again in August. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.